Hey everybody, great tip today. We're gonna to be using some coffee filter, some gauze, a stapler, some twine, a pair of scissors, and a glue gun. Stay tuned to see what we're making next. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles and on today's quick video we're going to be doing I'm going to show you how to make a, a homemade mask in case some reason you don't have any and you got to go out or something. Um, so stay tuned and we're going to get rolling on that right now. So what you're going to need, a lot of people may have some of this stuff already in your house. Okay, you're going to need you some coffee filters. You're going to need some gauze. Take that out of your emergency kit a stapler, any type of twine. It can be the cheap twine, it can be anything, any type of twine, a pair of scissors, and a glue gun. I'm gonna show you how this starts to go. Okay. So, you start off, you can take two coffee filters, you can do three if you would like. I wanna take you some gauze, all right? You're gonna heat up your heat gun, and if your gauze is really big gauze or whatever else, you want to cut it so it is, so it fits inside of here and put, put it towards the top of whichever, the bottom and the top, you want more at the top where your nose is probably going to be, all right? And we're going to let the heat gun heat up just a little bit. I'm going to show you what we do. When the heat gun is heating up, first thing you need to do is staple the outside. Now you want to staple it so the inside of the staple is I should say so the outside where it's going to be pointing is on the outside so it's not against your skin and it's not pointing and you want to just go around and just do that all the way around I do it every uh, couple of inches or so like so so now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all stapled, all right? Now, like I said, this is just like an emergency mask. Like if you had to go out, you had to do something, you can hold it over your face, but I'm also gonna show you a way where you can tie some string to it. Take your hot glue gun, all right? Put some hot glue on the gauze, on the side that's gonna go inside. So I just wanna get a little squirt in there. So, and place this right down in there. And like I said, whichever is going to be the top, that's where you want most of it to be. Just push down on it a little bit. The hot glue dries relatively quick. And now it looks like something like that. Now, we come back, we're going to try something else. Now that that's done, and this is dry. What you want to do is take your twine, cut you, you need two good sized pieces sort of go around your head and you can just tie it just like you would your shoestrings. Doesn't matter if they're a little long, whatever. Like I said, you want plenty so you can put it right around your head. All right, now, you want these on the outside. Now, if you're going to be doing this in your house or something, you may want to just take and make sure you have a clean surface to do this on. Um, even though, it, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the inside of your house is cleaned already. So now you just want to push it down a little, like so. Take your hot glue gun. Put your glue on there. Push your string down in there. Now it is hot, so be careful when you do this step. All right, it's like going to Dunkin' Donuts. Coffee is hot. All right, give it a little bit, shot of glue on the top. My glue's on there. When you're changing the sticks out on these things, they kind of suck. So you want to do the same thing, roughly about 
the same way across on the other side. Take the next string. Oh, wrong one. Take the next string. Place it right down in there. Like I said, the glue is hot. I just like to put a little over the top. Turn that off. Stay. Put it right back. I want you to glue it. And you let it cool for a few minutes. It's good and solid. All right. So you take your mask, put it on like right here. Especially if you wear, you know, if you got your goggles or something on, your glasses. Uh, anything like that, I'm going to show you how it's going to hold this down. So you just put that on there like this. Pull it back. Over the top of your ears. Tie it just like you would your shoes. Don't pull it too tight because it may break. Alright, so. You see this is all bunched down. So if you're wearing glasses and you take and you pull this over. Put these on. These are just my reading glasses, but just to demonstrate. Now that stays down there, and I have a mask that's kind of protecting me a little bit from the elements. Now, like I said, this would be for an emergency situation, and you had to go out, and you didn't have a mask. So you can take and put this on here, and it's going to help to filter out some things. Not everything, but any little bit will help. You know, and it kind of frees your hands up. So you're not walking around with, uh, say, a towel or a scarf or something that's over your, you know, you got to hold up here. You can still drive with both hands. You know, it's it just a, a little bit of protection. Um, it's not an N95 or an N99 mask, but it will work and help you out in a situation and save you a little bit of money if you have to go out. So this has been Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Just wanted to throw out this quick little tip out that I came up with today and Hope everybody's being safe. Give me a like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.